morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh my god, what a start to the day. So, are they still standing? <laughs> yeah, they are. Okay. <laughs> We're not putting that on. Morning, everyone. Good morning. How is everyone doing today? <laughs> Really? That's great. Thank you. Oh, you love me. Oh, so today we are... Um... We cut that again. No, we're not cutting anything. This is raw. Okay. So today... Yeah, it is raw. <laughs> so today we're doing our um, tomato 12 branch system that we're going to show you. You can see where Haley's standing, how, how big these tomatoes are getting. So we now have enough branches on that we can leave just the 12 branches. Um, we're going to do some clipping. We're not going to show you that though because you already know how to do that. And we are going to show for those of you who want to know, we're going to show um, how this uh, fertilizer injector over there works. So we will be right back and uh, show them how this is all done. You are so caught. Look at her eating all the strawberries. Look at the size of that. Whoa. What is that for me? Thank mm. you. Mm, Thanks. Look at the good. strawberries. So this variety of strawberry is obviously amazing. Uh, they're so sweet and huge. Now we sent all the uh, ones that had tons of berries on them to market with Wayne today. And uh, okay, I'm going to show you all. Okay, maybe it doesn't look like a heart. No, that's a different one. Oh, is it? I think. No, that's it. Is it? I thought this looked like a heart at first, when it was first growing, and uh, Haley really? said, no, it doesn't. But it know. does kind of look like a heart. <laughs> maybe that's what my heart looks like. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> so just to show you uh, how much this has grown since last, when did we clip? Thursday? Yeah, about Thursday that. or Friday? That's how much it's grown from this clip all the way up to there. So we got to get at this. Look at how dark they are. Oh, yeah, and our black tomatoes. Oh, they're turning. Oh, they're turning. Yay. I thought they were supposed to be black. No, like they're. I black. think they're black and then they turn pink. Oh. So, okay, we're switching all over the place here. Let's okay. just uh, keep on track. Okay, Haley's going to take this plastic off the big door so we can start using that. It's warm enough now that... Uh, we don't, we don't need to uh, keep it covered. So here we go. Um, with this fertilizer injector, it is called a Dema. And um, what this does is uh, you don't need uh, power or yeah, you don't need power at all for this injector. It's strictly ran off the water pressure. So what Wayne has done is when we first installed this, he put a bypass across here if we want just straight water. These two toggles, I call everything a toggle, these two um, control the fertilizer that comes out of the barrel. So when we shut these two off, we turn on the main and uh, then we get strictly water. But we don't have to do this. I'm going to turn the fertilizer back on. Um, we didn't have to do this because at the top here is a little button thing that when you push it down, that bypasses the water. So he, um, I don't know why he did this. I guess he didn't read the instructions properly. <laughs> I don't know. So anyhow, this is how it works. We have this one set at uh, 200 to 1. And uh, with the water pressure, it'll just bring the fertilizer up through the hose into the like there's a hose in the barrel brings it up and it mixes it with the water 200 to 1 that's what we have it set up so I I don't know what else to explain on this um, and it makes weird noises so Haley if you can just turn that hose on when the fertilizers on it ticks listen yeah so it'll go every about four seconds it goes and then we know that the fertilizer's on, which is a good thing because you, if you don't hear anything, you don't know whether it's running or not. Um, so when we turn these uh, things off for the fertilizer and then turn on the bypass, it's just straight water and it doesn't do any of the ticking. So 
I don't know if that answered your uh, question or not. I'm not uh, too good with this kind of stuff. But anyhow, that's how it works. It's a great little thing. Um, and so let's get on to tomatoes. We've been so busy. Like it's been, it has been absolutely crazy here. Uh, with orders for resorts and restaurants and we have actually we have a master chef coming that wants to do a video with us and he's gonna prepare us a meal with stuff that we have ready right now which isn't a whole lot but he can work wonders this guy so stay tuned for that so now we're gonna get on to uh, doing our tomato branch system see you in a bit so much better with the big doors open. Nice. Get better air circulation in here. Okay. Let's get to work, Haley. So, we will show you how to do this technique. All right. Shoe. What we do is, and many of you have already seen this, but we're going to do it again and put it all into a video at the end with start to finish. So, We've got them strung up or clipped on. So now we're going to start taking our 12 branch or leaving our 12 branches on and taking the rest off. So here, there's the first truss up here. We count this top as one leaf, okay? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Make sure that you're not counting a truss like this as a branch. Just the leaves. Just, just the branches, yeah. And then after the 12th one, we just clip off. I just take my scissors. Haley doesn't use scissors, I do. And we take all these branches off. That. that just gives better airflow throughout. It um, helps control the bug problems that you get with tomatoes. It doesn't, it doesn't get rid of it. more you can see your tomatoes better um, so we're gonna continue on I'll do a second one here so we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so take these ones off from the twelfth one down and if there's a clip on one of the branches that you're you're taking off make sure you leave a bit of a nub there for that clip to still hang on to which we have learnt they do eventually die and shrivel up but then you can but move by it then, up yeah by then we're starting it's to lean leaning and get down rid of the clips so there doesn't look like much right now but once we get these all done the taller they grow so they'll be bare at the bottoms and then we start a drop and lean um, so I hope that explains it. As you're going to, when you're suckering, you're always missing some. So just make sure you're taking them off as well. Um, and clip up whatever has to be clipped up and your tomatoes will be nice and straight. So we're going to continue on. Oh, I forgot one. And uh, we'll show you when we're all done. And just a tip that we have also learned, make sure that you check under your plastic because the suckers or even the roots can spring up new plants and yesterday we had like actual plants growing underneath the plastic so just make sure to check under and if you see like a mound that probably means there's a whole other plant growing under taking, there yeah and that's taking all the nutrients out of the um tomato plant out of the tomato plant so what we're what we just noticed too is uh we had a couple of tomatoes drop very easily so I'm going to run the uh, irrigation right now because they need water. <laughs> you okay today? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, well, she is okay, but it's just the old age setting in because her birthday is Saturday. So make sure you, you wish her a happy birthday. So we'll just say it's her mind is getting old. What are you talking about? And there they are, all done. So you can see how much air space. You can even feel the air movement. Yeah. 
and Patty's over here just finishing up. Look at that. Oh, and the reason I don't use scissors, I just use my hands and break the leaves off because I find it a little bit faster. When they get bigger and they're tougher, you might have to use scissors or if you want to make sure that... I find it harder to use scissors, so it's all what you prefer, right? You find it harder to use scissors. Or to use scissors. <laughs> then why are you using scissors? I need to go back home. <laughs> She's old. Oh, seriously. Okay, that one's Anyway, good. so I'm just going to show them quick when you're done. Sorry. I just go and I... Yeah. Kind of put my finger under. But hey, this I is my left hand too. I know, but I'm. I'm counting. Oh, he's little. Those are bad leaves, though. <laughs> so that's what I do. There. And we're done. And that's what we've got off just those three rows of tomatoes already. That's lots. So they're going to the compost pile. <gasps> All the way down there. So. I'm in number three and Haley's in number four and I think we're going to catch her singing. So let me figure out where I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go to the other side of the roll up and, uh, and get her. Okay, where is she? I got to make sure I'm on the right side. Shoot. Okay, well, I'm going to go around this side. Oh, she's got the back window open. Awesome. <laughs> this is going to be too funny. didn't happen. <laughs> Let's go see what she's up to. Hey! Hey! How's it going? Good. Good. Oh, it looks awesome. Okay, so what we have done, actually Haley's been doing this while I was in number three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she, um, <clears throat> so we're stringing these up, but we're not using the, uh, tomahooks, whatever they're called. The, uh, the hooks that we drop and lean with because these are just going to grow. We're just going to let these uh, beef steaks grow. These are a greenhouse variety and they're just going to grow right up to the ceiling and we'll have to use a ladder to to uh, harvest them, but that's okay. I think it'll be easier than the dropping and leaning because they're so high up that it would be really hard to, uh, it'd be a pain. Yeah. Uh, we know last year was. So, it's hot up there. It's very hot up there. So we're just, there were strings here from our peppers last year and uh, Haley's just adding on to them, so. And then we are going to carry on with our um, cucumbers. They're looking really good. And uh, we'll start stringing them. So we're gonna start that. We will um, start this by showing from beginning and then each time we do something we'll show you that way because last year we had them they were so far gone by the time we showed you how to uh, take all the suckers off and all that the runners whatever so we'll do that right from the beginning this time and it'll make more sense I need these. okay so we are going to now show you um, in a steadier slower video <laughs> how we do our cucumber stringing. And our cucumbers aren't overgrown, so it'll make it a, a lot, lot nicer, easier. Yeah. So what we do is we again take our string, that's string up to the top, put our clip on. You can find the video of uh, where we get our clips and stuff in uh, Clipping Tomatoes video. I'll actually put the link in the description below. 
So you put it under, again, a nice solid stem. First clip there. Bring this up, just keep it nice and straight. And second clip on that one. You wanna make sure that you aren't squeezing these together because you're gonna have your fruit in between. Okay, so, and then your fruit will end up growing into the clip. So what we now do is you have your, your node, your main stem. We don't have tendrils yet, but the tendril will come out from the leaf and the main, and the, and the main stem. Then there'll be a tendril in here. And then this little thing here is a growth point. So you want to get rid of that. We just pinch it off like that, and you want to get rid of that. That'll promote better growth, and you're not going to have crazy, crazy foliage everywhere, and you'll have better fruit. So here you can see there's a cucumber starting, but you have your main stem, your leaf, and then your node or your um, uh, growth point right in, in between, and I'm going to clip that off and you wanna be careful not to hit the fruit. So I'm just gonna put this leaf actually this way. Oh, I hear my lawnmower. And then again, you have your node, your main leaf, and you have a fruit. And then this little thing here is your growth point and you're gonna get rid of that. And there's the tendril starting, if you can see that. So the tendrils start, you want to keep your tendrils. I mean, if you accidentally take them off, it's no big deal. And then you do the same here. So let's go to another one. So this one isn't ready to, um, we aren't stringing this yet. I just want to show you, we found a bigger tendril. So there's your tendril. So you have your main node, your main leaf, your tendril, your fruit, and then this little tiny thing here is your growth point. So you leave your fruit, and this tendril will help uh, secure it onto the strings as well. And uh, yeah, we just keep going like that. All right, <clears throat> so these strings are a little bit long, but that's all right. So we take our clip, clip it in, make sure it's in between the little clippy things so it's secure. Clip on, and take this one, and I'm gonna go, where am I gonna go here? Just try to hold that up, just tight enough. <clears throat> And I think I'll do, no, I won't do a third. And this is last year we wrapped them because they're sticky and it was really hard to get them when they were dead to get them off the strings. Yeah, like we wrapped the string around oh, the, that oh. one fell off. What did you do? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just actually. So don't wrap the plant around the string, <clears throat> just use the clips to keep or, them on. Yeah, straight up if you can, because it is really hard to pull off. So again, you have your node, your main leaf, your fruit, and your tendrils coming there. And this one has two fruit actually. And then you have your growth point, which we pick off. So it's, it's simple. And if you do this technique, it really, really does help with production. <clears throat> A lot of people ask why it, it uh, helps with production when you're taking off the growth points, because the growth points will also- It's like um, a produce, sucker. It is like a sucker. Same as, yeah, same as suckering your tomatoes. It will produce fruit, but you don't want all that fruit. And when you're doing this uh, string, stringing technique, you don't want foliage everywhere. And well, it makes a second vine. It does make a second vine, but then it'll be it's they're, everywhere. They're everywhere. It's yeah, it's a mess. And you end up with more powdery mildew. You end up with more disease. So you wanna you wanna stay away from that. So anyhow, that is uh, that. We're gonna continue on. We have all of our tomatoes uh, strung up. And uh, that'll be it for today. So it's just been a kind of, it started out as a crazy day. Not really organized. That's what's happening right now is we are everywhere. We're everywhere. Yeah. And uh, it is what it is. So you want to watch, you don't want to watch. This is what we do. So anyhow, have a great day. And uh, let me see. Bye.